Alright, so today what we're going to be working with is this plastic molded injection piece. Um, within the part of where we'd be gripping, there are grooves on either side, um, which prevents the use of suction cups because the suction cup can't mold around the ridges or gaps themselves, so you can't get a, a solid seal. The other problem we face is the fact that this is coming right out of the injection molding process, so this will be at a very high temperature. So the solution we have come up with would be one of our Kinos units. Now this is what I'm testing with here, our KVG 230 by 60 so it's one of our smaller units. Uh, this is a custom hole pattern, however I will show you one of the other hole patterns that I've also previously tested and I'll test again to show that it works. The important factor here is that it's a 10 millimeter foam thickness. While this foam cannot withstand the high temperature as well, we do have a silicone version which can then withstand the high temperatures and operate at the required capacity. Or if I were to go down, as you'll watch the foam kind of just collapse in on itself, it grabs, it holds, I can move where I need to go, both on the ridges as well as on the dotted groove side. Same concept, it's on, turn the vacuum on, instantly collapse drops down. I can hold it, it's fine, it's not going anywhere. And as I do a quick swap out, you'll see that as I work with this now thicker foam, but a larger hole pattern, I still won't have any issues in holding the part, and that the entire solution will still work, which is why we still would recommend going with the 10 millimeter fine step hole pattern with the silicone to grip and hold the entire solution and work without having to damage the part.